It's always a pleasure to read party manifestos, especially if you have a taste for fantasy fiction. They are remarkable anthologies of creative writing. It's such a pity that we have to convert them into tedious legislative documents. Still, that's our job. So, what does the Labour Party have to say about immigration? Uh, numbers? No. A budget? No. Dates? No. But they're also unpoetic. Ah, uh, people need to know that immigration is controlled. Excellent. After all, the rise of a rocket into the stratosphere is controlled. Now, what have we here? At the heart of our growth plan is the commitment to a high-speed rail line. Well, I think we've got a figure for that somewhere. Um, here, yes. 30 billion pounds. Where's that going to come from, I wonder? Oh. The scheme is due for completion in 2032. Well, I must book a ticket on it to celebrate my 80th birthday. The department has noted the government's bold and imaginative commitment to a new high-speed rail network and will be conducting preliminary investigations into engine design, route planning, financial structures, environmental safeguards, commercial arrangements and health and safety considerations with immediate effect. <laughs> At least that will save us having to spend any money for four years. Ah, freedom of information. Oh, dear, oh, dear. We strongly support measures that improve the transparency of parliamentary institutions and government. Well, they can't say we didn't warn them. But I think there's a way to clip its wings a bit. We fully support the government's commitment to transparency, but we should point out that meeting requests for information has already cost over £30 million. In view of the critical state of the UK's finances, we recommend that the annual budget be capped in future to, say, £2 million a year to be allocated by a departmental committee, which I shall chair. Ah, uh, House of Lords reform. It's so nice to meet an old friend. It was promised 13 years ago. I wonder when it'll actually happen. I'm betting on a dead heat with the new high-speed rail line. Meanwhile, there's the little matter of the biggest budget deficit in Britain's history and a forecast debt of getting on for one and a half trillion pounds by 2015. Well, they say they'll solve it, but um, they don't say exactly how. Well, you don't want to spoil a good story. <laughs>